Welcome back traders. Here we are on course 9 of 11 on the graduate junior. We have just concluded uh, the very first 19.1 that is to say trade I mean developing your own trading plan. And so today we're about to continue from 9.2 which says which type of trader are you? So let's dive right into it and look at the subtopics we have. The first one is know the different types of trading styles. Scalping, day trading, swing trading, position trading, what type of forex trader are you? And that will be the end of 9.2. So let's begin by discussing the very first one, okay, and then continue with the other ones. Know the different types of trading styles. But before we do that, let's roll the So here we are know the different types of trading now it's saying that each trader is unique and of course you know we're not going to spend time here because you already know that you and your brother or your sister or your husband or your uncle or your father you and any other person you are different the food you eat the kind of life you live the way the clothes you like to put on how you like to dress and everything you are unique okay so too they are traders trading styles you know people the things they do when it comes to trading they are all different so you you have to figure out the kind of trader or that you are or what makes you to be unique okay and then try to develop your own uh, trading style to fit your personality that's basically what this place is saying know who you are and be able to you know pick a trading style that will suit you what is all this picture saying it's saying just basically that if you know your stomach don't hold spicy food okay but then you just decide to eat pizza that's full of you know uh, spice you know you're definitely going to end up in the toilet you know and uh, yeah it's going to hurt your stomach as well so that's basically what it's saying if you do not know the kind of trader that you are and you force yourself into trading a style that is for somebody else it's going to hurt you okay but we, one thing i can tell you is this you can try to fit yourself according to the pattern somebody else's you know trades if only if that trading style connects with you it resonates with your personality then you can try you know to adopt that trading style then you know tweak maybe one or two things about it and then carry on with it so let's move to the next lesson that says scalping so here we are on scalping what is scalping so scalping who is a scalper a scalper is somebody who uh, is very interested in short-term trades okay so but let's just define scalping scalp trading is also known as scalping it's a popular trading strategy characterized by relatively short time periods between the opening and closing of a trade okay the main objective for forest scalpers is to grab very small amounts of pips as many times as they can throughout the busiest times of the day so that's a scalper okay a trader is literally trying to scalp just to grab small okay amount of profit from a huge number of trades throughout the day so that's what a scalper is okay now scalpers can place up to a few hundred trades in a single day those are some scrappers you don't need to do that that's if you want to be a scrapper anyway so what else can we can we learn here okay the strat the strategy behind scrapping is that lots of small wins can easily morph into large gains okay like just picking small small uh, profits can accumulate into large gain scrapping focuses on larger position sizes for smaller profits <coughs> in short in shortest period of time okay and then uh, from if you that, that time can be from few seconds to to minutes and it's especially done when there is you no know, volatility in the market now the main goal of scalping is to open a position at the ask and bid price and then quickly close the close the position before i mean close the position a few points higher or lower for profits now you might want to be a scalper if 
you like fast trading and excitement okay if you don't like if you don't mind being focused on your chart for several hours at a time okay you can be a scalper if you are an impatient person who doesn't like to wait for long for long trades you can also be a scalper if you think okay fast and change biases quickly or direction okay then you can also be a scalper if you have fast fingers like put those export skills to work okay you can also be a scalper if you are a surgeon <laughs> they're crazy right now you might not be a forest scalper if you easily get stressed in fast moving environment if you can't commit several hours of undivided attention to your shots if you would rather make fewer trades with higher profit gains if you like taking your time to analyze the overall picture of the market okay then you might not be a forest scalper so there are some things to consider before you decide to be a scalper okay trade only the most liquid pairs i think you understand what this means the pairs that are heavily traded okay by majority of traders and this this pairs are eu gu uscf and uj they offer the tightest spreads because they tend to have the highest trading volume okay so that the spreads are very very small now trade only during the busiest times of the day most liquid times of the day are during the session overlaps this is from 2 a.m <clears throat> to 4 a.m and from 8 a.m to 12 to 12 noon eastern time okay then make sure to account for the spread now we know the spread is different between the bid and the ask price that is the amount your broker is going to get as his commission for you know taking you into the trade now make sure you follow good money management okay and then also make sure you follow uh, major news reports that can throw you off okay Make sure you are also following news report. Go to the news calendar and check the news for the day before you make a trading decision. Now let's move to the next trading. Next uh, lesson that says a day trading. <clears throat> now what is day trading? Day trading is a popular trading strategy where you buy and sell a financial instrument over a time frame of a single day trading with the with the intention of profiting from small price movements so here we are on day trading day trading is specifically a popular today strategy where you buy and sell financial instruments over a time frame okay of a single day okay so all your trading must begin from that morning of that day to the close of that day's trading okay so that's basically day trading you don't hold your trades overnight you close everything up overnight okay so if you don't like trading you know if you don't like fast or too fast trading like scalpers do you know just switch to to you know day trading and remember scalping also involves lots of capital i mean lots of money because you basically enter the market you use lots of i mean you just want to some scalpers just want to you know take like five pips ten pips and they're out <clears throat> and to make maximum gains you have to risk more as well so you might be a forex day trader if you like beginning and ending a trade within one day if you have time to analyze the market at the beginning of the day and can monitor it through the day throughout the day if you like to know whether or not you win or lose at the end of the day and then you can be a forex day trader you might not be a forex day trader if you like longer or shorter term trading if you don't have the time to analyze the market and monitor it throughout the day if you have a day job so some things to consider if you decide to day trade okay stay informed on the latest fundamentals events to help you choose a direction okay that's reading news what's happening in the news okay and compare with what is happening in the life market as well technicals and fundamentals do you have time to monitor your trade okay it is important for you to consider that as well as a day trader okay if you have a full-time job you have to consider how you're going to monitor your trades okay because you're not going to have attention to you know to be looking at uh, here and there now there are types of day trading one trend trading now so 
basically is trading along with the direction of the trend okay so that's what trend trend trading is look at the picture we have here so what is basically happening this is a trend okay uh do have uh a high here a uh, high here double bottom fit to create a new high okay and then price started to you know move to the downside you know to the downside making high, uh, lower highs uh, lower lows lower highs lower lows okay so yeah this is this is this is trend trading okay that's part of it so a trend trader trades along with the trend with different strategies okay which we are not discussing right now uh so you that's one one way <clears throat> one one style of you know trading then uh trend traders i mean day trading also is involves multiple time frame analysis okay like from the four hour like the, the very first picture we looked at okay this is four hour i think so right 60 times four 120 120 240 yeah four hours okay four hours and now here is a 15 minutes so you have to analyze on the higher time frames scale down to the lower time frames then to take your opposition then we have counter trend trading now a counter trend trading is you know that price of the market is coming down for instance okay price is making uh Low, uh, uh, lower highs lower low lower highs lower low lower highs lower low, lower so it's going down now a counter trend trader is the one who says okay it has created a new low i mean broken this previous low created a new low here it will definitely create a lower high so a counter trade trader waits and takes his position here or here okay and expect that the trend will go back i mean the the price will pull back okay up enough for him to make profit close profit here here or even here or waiting for it to come to the trend line as the case may be in this example okay so this is the counter trend trading c t okay why this one is a uh, trend line continuation trading c t okay so that's counter trend trading i hope you understand that then let's move on to the next one all these are just explanations of the counter trend trading this is 15 minute chart let's look at the four hour the trend is coming down okay now on the 15 minute chart the, the trader has found uh you know this reversal or, or entry here and decides to write the trade back up so that's just it um but we don't learn any strategies here right now okay so the next uh style of day trading or type of day trading is range trading now what is a range trading you just basically trading within the range okay trading within the range so let's say we all already know what a range is price is bouncing off two parallel uh horizontal lines okay so price bounces this up come back down reject here goes back up come back down here come back down up you know so this is the range now so what do you do or what what do traders do they wait for price to come here and they find an entry here or here or here or the price comes down take profit here okay now uh other traders as well can also enter the market from here once once there is evidence that the price is now shifting up to the upside they enter, they enter the trades here and write all this profit to the top okay so this is trading within this range this is not a trend line this is not a trend like this where you have lower highs lower lows or higher high higher lows to the upside no this is trading within this range just this two range alone that's what this the day a range trading is all about hope you understand that okay now breakout trading now is another style uh so what what is breakout trading so let's go back to i think we have okay let's see if we can use this, this chart here so here's a breakout trading okay um uh, price has formally becoming making a lower uh lower highs lower lows okay came back to a key level in the market price went back down created a lower high created a new low okay now this is a range this is definitely a range okay this level here or this area in the market here is a range you see price bouncing in these areas okay 
so what is the breakout now the breakout strategy states that you wait for price to break the range or break above the strong level so let's say assume let's assume price came and broke above this level here okay so what do you do you look for an entry in this region like they said entry here okay you look for an entry because price has closed above this this level here so you wait for an entry enter into the market in the pullback or you trace them to 50 percent and you ride it to this target claim this profit here okay now this is the break to the top side now we also have a break to the downside okay so you wait for price to break this level to the downside pull back a little bit okay and you know get your entries and expect price to come to the downside okay so there's two types of uh, um, uh, range breakout uh, a break to the upside or a break to the downside and that's how you make profits in that kind of in trading uh, breakout now another type of trading is news trading It's very risky dangerous but it's good because news make the market to move so once you once you're able to position yourself very well in the market okay you are expecting the news okay you can be able to trade and make profit based of the news report news analysis so this information could be a report releasing economic data such as unemployment interest rates inflation uh simply breaking news or a random presidential tweet anything can make the market to move okay and so yeah that's news trading okay so uh the next thing we're going to talk about is swing trading so let's dive right into swing trading quickly next on our case study is swing trading now swing trading refers to the medium term trading style that is used by forex traders who try to profit from price swings okay now swing trading stands i mean stands between uh swing trading stands between two other popular trading styles day trading and position trading okay now swing trading swing, swing traders identify a possible trend and then hold the trades for a period of from minimum of two days to several weeks okay so that's swing trading you take a position and you wait one two three four five days one week two weeks three weeks and all that so swing trading is suitable for those who hold a uh, full-time jobs okay and they are not able to trade every day now swing trading also employ fundamental or technical analysis in order to determine whether or not a particular currency pair might go up or down in the near future swing trading ad attempts to identify swings within a medium term trend and enter only when there seems to be a high probability of winning okay so look at this trade for instance this chart price is making what higher highs higher lows okay right price is making higher highs higher low this is the first high low high i mean if it's to if it to create a new low you can say price was ranging in this level finally it broke out of it creating double bottom okay i broke out of it so this is the swing low okay for swing traders you can enter here like it's, it's seen here okay now it made a new high swing high because it's higher than this high okay now it came back to create a new low i mean um, a higher low right i mean a lower high rather lower high from this level here you can enter trade here a new high a new swing low and a new swing high okay before price started to tumble down tumble down so that's swing trading now this chart we just looked at here and we just talked at can be for like three four months depending on the chart okay they didn't put it i mean uh maybe please didn't put the time frame okay but it can be daily charts it can be weekly chart what you just what we just did here right now so if you take days if it's a daily chart this movement is for one day so if you enter the trade here for instance it will take one two three four five days to get to this high if you enter a short okay position for instance in this level here let's say you enter short here okay to take this is a whole can if it's a daily chart okay take one day two three before you get this swing low if you enter a trade here it will take one day two three you see if it moves in, even if it eventually moves okay depending on where you take the trade by that you can catch the weeks maybe you take the trade here or even here okay now see it climb up for the second day it didn't make any significant movement 
the third day it tried to go back up you know, higher up but the bs got the market and they push it back to entry you will find this happening many times entry oh my goodness this has happened to me many times price will come back down if the moment i just say i put my trade to break even okay like uh, risk free price will now come smash me out of the market and then go up i'm like oh my goodness what am i doing wrong you know until i get to understand that they are, that's how just how the market works so because trades uh because trades last much longer than one day larger stop losses are required to weather volatility and the first trader must adapt to that uh to that type of money money management money management plans okay we must try to have uh larger stop losses okay now swing trades usually have larger uh, targets spread won't have any impact on your trade in the or in your overall profit because you have to you are catching you know huge movement to, to the upside or to the downside now there are also types of swing trading okay the very first one is reversal i think you know what reversal is price move up and consolidates in this area for instance and then until it breaks this this level to the downside comes back up for a retest and starts going back down this is a reversal trade okay so that's a uh, swing trade reversal the next one is uh, a retracement okay swing trading retracement so price has pushed up okay and it consolidates and started falling down falling down and all of a sudden it starts pushing up again this is called retracement my friends it happens okay but you can pick this retracement but this is definitely like 782 retracement this is like 618 this is like 50 percent this is like 382 so with a good uh fibonacci uh, configuration you'll be able to get this retracement very well and then continue from the direction the market is going i think i have one one example like that where is she um uh, forgotten is it this chart i don't know I'm not sure is this one just let me just want to show you there's one i'm monitoring currently to see how far it's going this is how i i, I know i try to determine how far it, 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 the price of the market will, will retrace okay uh not this one not this one not this one is it this one no 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 i think i'm going to i'm going to short this this pair because it's come to create triple tops already once market opens i'm going to look for an entry here because this is one top two three one two three four look for an entry in 15 minutes okay so if this 15 minutes starts price has come down okay if it goes back up here i reject i look for an entry here i write it down that's a plan but i wanted to show you a a an example i mean of what i just i just if i can't find it let me just let's just go ahead not to you know spend much time let me so here's a pair i have been i was looking for the other time i i have you know i paused the video so here's a pair it is AUD card now AUD card you see it's pushed up okay this is the four hour chart priced uh you know slammed a major low here this is a bullish president into the market pulled back 50 percent higher high higher low and created a new higher high okay a miss double or quadruple top because this is a very strong level in the market it didn't get to that place okay but what do we see now after pushing too, so high to this high price is now coming back boom down lower, lower high okay lower high again so just like the way i showed you so what is going to happen here definitely it has struck i mean close below 618 retracement financial retracement okay this is 786 okay and it uh, the very first time it tried it tried to, to get to 786 it didn't get there okay halfway look at the weeks here and what is definitely happening right now is like it pushed to the top side and it's coming back down again you see this red candle this, this uh candle here this to the to the downside the momentum okay it has pushed 50 percent up again i'm definitely expecting it to come to this area here to look for a buy then write it up 
so this is what i was saying the other time you see my red lines right when i said you know a retracement push to the top side you see price coming back down and then boom i learned this uh, retracement from somebody on on instagram did i say instagram youtube so let's go back to uh course that's i mean um the retracement uh strategy yeah the retracement stra strategy okay then we have the breakout strategy if you you know you know the breakout strategy looks like this price breaks above come back down find support here find more support here and then it push up this is the breakout strategy or price or price is trading from the bottom lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high breaks this lows come back goes down again finds a uh, resistance here and price just slump back down okay this is the break breakout strategy to the downside it can be anyway it can ha happen in any way it can be in form of uh in within the range okay and then it just breaks and go down any any form it any form in which it comes take it like that so you might want to be a you want to be a swing trader if you don't mind holding your trades for several days if you are willing to take fewer trades but more careful to make sure your trades are very good setups if you don't mind having large stop losses if you are patient if you are able to maintain calm when trades move against you then you can be a good or you might want to consider being a, a swing trader however you might not want to be a swing trader if you like fast-paced action-packed trading or if you are impatient and like to know whether or not you are right or wrong immediately if you get sweaty and anxious when you trades when, the, when your trades go against you then if you can spend a couple of hours every day analyzing the market you if you can't give up your world of warcraft reading sessions then you might not want to be a swing trader so let's move to the next lesson that says position trading so here we are on position trading position trading is the longest term trading and can have trades that last for several months to several years okay so position traders ignore short-term price movements in favor of pinpointing and profiting from longer trends okay so it can be a type of trading that is closely related to or resembles investing the crucial difference is that in it's in the market outside of forex okay investing is in the market outside of forex like stocks like uh, what have you out there okay but there are some traders who do position trading in forex market as well and so that's what we're learning so being a a position trader in forex market it requires good understanding of uh fundamental analysis and also patience okay the fundamental analy analysis dictate the long-term trends of currency pairs and it's very important that you understand how economic data affect your countries or other countries outlook okay so i doubt you want to be i mean i doubt you want to be a position trader if you are actually listening to this uh part so i'm going to skip i mean and go through this very very quickly because i don't think any one of us should become position traders we don't have the financial capacity to do that so let's go very quickly types of position trading almost the same thing uh trend trading using moving averages so for position traders moving averages of 50 and 200 are very key technical indicators for them because the moving averages tell us uh, the, the overall direction of of price in a given period of time so when a moving average crosses okay that shows uh the trend or the direction is changing okay so the the wash between the 50 um, ma and the 200 ma then another kind of trader uh a, a position trader is support and resistance uh, trend trading i mean position trading you know support and resistance already by selling at the top buying at the bottom breakout trading we've discussed this recently not quite long so you wait for levels to be taken out retest and then you just uh, enter the market to continue then pull back push pull back continue entry 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 
that's pullback position trading okay and then we have uh reasons why you might want to be a, tra a position trader that's if you're an independent thinker okay you have to be able to ignore popular opinion and make your own educated guesses as to where the market is going you have to get you have to have a great understanding of fundamentals and have good foresight into how they affect your currency pay in the long run you have to think you sorry you have thick skin and can weather any retracement you face you have enough capital to withstand several hundred pips if the market goes against you you don't mind waiting for your grand reward long-term forex trading can net you several hundred of several thousands of pips so if you get excited about okay being a being of 50 pips and already uh, want to exit your trade consider moving to the shorter time term trading style okay then you are excess if you are extremely patient and calm then you also want to be a a position trader okay but if you if you just like focus on 50 pips okay like after after some research i have been doing on myself on my work on myself i decided i want to be focusing on 30 pips just 30 okay <laughs> 30 pips oh my goodness we do a lot to your account if you know the value of 30 pips okay like i was watching an institutional trader a trader who works for a major financial uh, uh brokerage okay like they hired him and he's a chief you know trader for the for the company he's teaching people as well coaching people on how to trade okay and he was just banking on 30 pips i'm like really these are people who put millions like millions 50 million in their account 100 200 300 and this trader is banking on 30 pips do you know what that means if you have 50 million naira in your sorry 50 million us dollar in your in a trading account and you make five percent of that of of a trade or you win 30 percent depending on your risk it's millions do you understand so going for 30 pips if you are able to incorporate your what is it called your um, money management skill very well okay you will make a lot of money with just 30 pips okay so you might not want to be a, a position trader that is if you get swayed easily by popular opinions on the market if you don't have a good understanding of how fundamentals affect the market in the long run if you are if you're not patient even if you are somewhat patient this might still this might still not be to this style for you you have to be able to ultimately use a you know great great tricks and skills of being patient and kind to to your own advantage you don't have enough uh starting capital that means you don't want to be a position trader if you don't like it when the market goes against you you don't want to be a position trader if you like seeing your result fast you don't want to be a position trader so these are just a few uh tips you need to know let's move to the next lesson that says what type of forex trader are you so so basically we've learned a lot we've learned the scalper we've learned the, the day trader we learned the swing trader we learned the position trader okay for the purpose of this course okay i would advise if you ask my opinion you did not ask it but i just want to advise stick to this stick to this my friends day trading stick to it okay but if it doesn't suit you okay you can move to swing trading you can do this as well take one trade let it run for at least two three days before you look at the chart again but if you want to make money okay like every day okay think about this one here day trader scarper for now i doubt you'll be able to handle scarping i don't even i don't even scarp okay but if you're looking to make like somewhere between uh 300 i mean 30 pips okay or 
50 pips or 100 pips or 70 okay you know this is not scrapping maybe in a day or in a trading day you can only get like 50 or 30 and you'll be good maybe in one four hour candle for hish you can get these pips here so what kind of trader are you think about your personality very well and think which one will, will best work in your favor suit your personality but let's just go let's just do this lastly scalpers hold on to a few seconds to hold on to for a few seconds to a few minutes at the most their main objective is to grab very small amounts of pips as many times as they can throughout the busiest times of the day okay then day traders usually pick a side at the beginning of the of the day acting on their buyers and then finishing the day with either profit or loss these kind of traders do not hold their trades overnight swing traders are for those people that like to hold on to trades for several uh, days to several weeks at a time now these types of traders can't monitor their chart throughout the day so they dedicate a couple of hours analyzing the market every night or make sound sorry every night to make sound decisions okay position traders on the other hand are those that have trades that last for several weeks months or even years these traders know that fundamental know that fundamental teams will be the predominant factor when analyzing the market and therefore make their trading decisions based on those fundamentals okay so always changing your trading style can lead to trouble St pick one and stick to it okay if you realize that you are good as you, you are more comfortable uh scalping stick to it if it's day trading stick to it whatever suits you stick to it okay so that brings to the end of 9.2 okay this is uh how to create a mechanical trading system and that's in 9.3 so without much further ado my friends if you like so far what you have done please share this video as well but don't forget to smash the like button subscribe if you haven't until next time i wish you success